Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to the best damn show on planet Earth, the Eric's Apparel Show. Coming to you from right here on my YouTube channel. I am, of course, your host, Eric Sapero. It is an awesome honor and privilege, as it is every day to have you, our international friends. We gather around to talk about our favorite things in the world, movie reviews, theme parks, and all sorts of good stuff. And today, it's an awesome Saturday. I'm here at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. As you guys know what's up in this video, I'll be giving you guys updates of what's going on at both Universal and Islands. We'll be doing a quick food review. Today, I will be eating at the brand new Minions Cafe restaurant. I don't know what I'm gonna be having over there. I saw the menu last night, and I have to say the menu looks really, really, really good. And then we'll be doing a, um, a merch search over at the uh, brand new uh, Minions Evil Stuff store. And uh, guys, with all that down, we got no time to lose. Let's go start off at Universal Studios. Finally, we are here at Studios, and now let's have some fun. So it looks like we got here our first update of the video in regards to the ticket facade. So it looks like they're already starting to work on the roofing. Uh, so I would say maybe about another month or so, they should be done with this uh, left side ticket facade. Once the roofing is done, and everything else is done, they'll start to work on the software for the, um, the ticket scanners. And after that, both sides should be uh, back to normal and should be working perfectly. Finally, we are in the park. Let's now head on over into Minion Land. And the first ride that we are going on is Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. The ride's about to open soon. Let's go on it right now. An update regarding the Villain Con Minion Blast. Yes, it's coming in summer of 2023. Walls are still up. They're still working on the ride. So I would say maybe after the 4th of July weekend, the ride should be open to the public. Um, but again, that's just my, my guess. I don't know if they are going to open the week of 4th of July or after. But I would say maybe... Um, another month i would give it another month to see if the ride will open by maybe um mid july or beginning of august now it's time to head over into the evil stuff store and let's show you guys the inside and what new merch do they have inside $33 a villain con international t-shirt for $90 a villain con blue minion backpack for $12 a mornings are evil come back at noon sign this is something I would really get to put in the front of my room For $21, a Vicious 6 water bottle. For $37, a Tough Chick tank top. I love this shirt. Evil is my middle name. And you can get this shirt for $27. So right here, where I'm pointing at, is the exit of the ride that will lead to this awesome villain con store. The Tonight Show starting Jimmy Fallon race through New York City is a 10 minute wait. Transformers The Ride 3D is a five minute wait. Let's go join Optimus Prime and the Autobots. We have a construction flooring update. So it looks like they're working on the flooring of the place in front of the Lombard's uh, Seafood Grill. So it looks like this could be a flooring construction uh, job that's gonna probably go on for a couple weeks. And after that, the walls will be gone. The flooring will be brand new. Men in Black Alien Attack is a 10 minute wait. Let's go shoot some aliens. 
Kings. All right, folks, I ended up with a score of 116,700 points. Not my best one. This is the lowest I have ever gotten. All right, guys, so round one was not my best round, but you know what? Let's go on again. Round two, can we do better? Let's find out. All right, we did a lot better. 221,700 points. That's the way to do it. Now let's see what I got. Galaxy Defender, that's how we do it. That was pretty hot, wasn't it? You guys are not gonna remember it. Here at Springfield, we got some major flooring construction going on. So I don't know if they're gonna start putting more games here or they're just gonna redo the flooring for this part of the park. Um, we'll have to wait and see what's gonna happen with this uh, construction update going on here at Springfield. But right now, let's go on the Simpsons ride. And I believe the wait time is a 15 minute wait. So far, this is the best shot that I can get of the flooring work that's going on in front of the Simpsons ride. Right now, as regarding to the construction site for the formerly known Kin Zone, the um, roller coaster for the Woody Woodpecker is still up. They have not torn it down yet. Uh, so, so far, I'm going to try to get the best shot that I can of the um, construction site to show you guys the update. The E.T. Adventure is a 25 minute wait. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. The Jason Bourne Stuntacular starts at 12 o'clock. All right, let's head on over onto the Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Tribute Store. For $34, a Jurassic Park animated shirt. For $29, a 30th Anniversary Jurassic Park mug. For $20, a Jurassic Park hard hat. This looks really cool. So I see some delicious Jurassic Park treats. I don't know which one am I gonna get from here, but I think I'm gonna go with this uh, Ian Malcolm uh, looking dessert. This looks really good. I'm gonna get this one. For lunch, let's head on over to the brand new Minions Cafe. Everybody, I'm done with my lunch. Now it's time for the Eric's Apparel Show quick food review. So let's start off with this brand new restaurant, the Minions Cafe. And I have to say, um, the place looks really nice. Um, and now uh, let's start off with the um, the um, the Mel's pulled pork sandwich that I had inside Minions Cafe. Now it had a very um, delicious pretzel bun. The pretzel bun was great. The pulled pork inside that meat was really juicy, really tender. Uh, it had some sauce, I forgot the name to it, but it blended in really well with the pulled pork and the pretzel bun. Great sandwich, I really recommend it. I would give that sandwich an eight out of 10. Now the Minions Tots, um, those Minions Tots, to be honest, they were very delicious. I give those Minion Tots, to be honest, a nine out of 10. Uh, the Mingus Tots, the outside was very crunchy and crispy, very tasty and soft in the inside the way how a, uh, a tater tot should really be. Uh, now for the dessert, I had the um, Ian Malcolm's brownie. 
Now that brownie, to be honest, was not the best brownie I've ever had on Universal property. It's not, um, I'm not really satisfied with that brownie. To be honest, the, um, it's just the, the frosting on that brownie that they have put, it was not the very best. Um, it didn't blend in well, especially with that hard chocolate and that brownie. <sighs> right when I was halfway done with that brownie, I was like, Ugh, nah, I'm, I'm not having it. Um, this brownie is not meant for me to have. So I give that brownie, to be honest, a 5 out of 10. Not the best brownie. I did not like it. So, I mean, if you like brownies, I would try. I'll, I'll try. I would, I mean, if you like brownies, try it out. But... Um, there were also other desserts that looked really good, but I thought the brownie would be the best one to go with. And to be honest, I did not like it. Again, five out of 10 on that brownie. Worst brownie I ever had on Universal property. I think, you know, Universal can make a brownie better than that. I mean, Disney can. Disney can make a brownie better than that. So guys, that is it for the quick food review. And now let's go on on another attraction or let's see what's other Updates are going on here at Studios before we head on over to Islands of Adventure. Looks like we got the beautiful dancers ready to go. And we got the one and only Hollywood's greatest actress, Marilyn Monroe. She's ready to go. I need to see Sam. I need to see plants. I need to see atmosphere. Watch it. There's a child present. The Revenge of the Mummy is a 50 minute wait. of adventure all right we are here at islands and let's head on over to hogsmeade and let's see what's up hagrid's motorbike adventure is down for i don't know how long right now it's delayed and that's what happens when so much people in the morning come here and try to go on this ride i can't believe this the flight of hippogriff is also delayed wow that's crazy two rides in a row in this part of the park has been delayed. The Harry Potter Adventure Ride is a 75 minute wait. Welcome to Jurassic Park. The Velocicoaster is closed due to a weather delay. That's weird. I don't see any rain in the sky. All I see is a beautiful sun. It's hot outside. So I don't know why would this uh, ride be closed due to a weather delay. That's really weird. Wait. Okay. I just heard people! The ride's open! Look at that! Subscribe! The Jurassic Park River Adventure is a 20 minute wait. Here at the Jurassic Park Scream and Splash Zone, we got some breaking news. The breaking news is, I hear a lot of screaming, but I do see a lot of splashing. Skull Island Reign of Kong is a 75 minute wait. Now 
let's walk into Marvel Superhero Islands. The Amazing Spider-Man is a 45 minute wait. The Incredible Hulk roller coaster is closed due to a weather delay. Not a well done today, Hulk. Not a well done Hulk today. So here's what the track looks like without all the mist. Cause the mist, what it does is that it covers up all this part of the track. So this tunnel here, imagine this, you know, with all the mist, you won't see these tracks. Now without the mist, you can see what it now looks like clearly what it looks like. Usually in all my videos, whenever I come here, I see this coast or the, um, the car coming down here and I yell out, subscribe! Storm Force Acceleration X is a 10 minute wait. Now let's head on over into Seuss Landing. The cat in the hat is a 30 minute wait. The high in the sky trolley train ride is closed due to a weather delay. I mean, for what I'm seeing, I mean, it looks like a maybe, just maybe might rain a little bit, but really these clouds should be passing on with no rain and hopefully uh, a couple of the rides that were closed due to a weather delay can be opened again. Now let's head on over into the lost continent and let's see what's up with the formerly known Poseidon's Fury. So they did take out the name, but what I do like is that they let a little bit of the water flow into the fountain, which I think is really nice. The water on this side still looks really, really nasty. I mean, just look at it. Come on, Universal. Like, it's time to come up with a, a new uh, attraction and clean up all of this dirty water. As for the other side here, I do see some water. However, all this is from the rain knowing that yes it is hurricane season but what i just noticed here on the floor on the ground there's some water drawings which i think that's really cool to see this however i did have a conversation earlier today at the front of the park with a team member and she did say that it would be cool to extend the wizarding world of harry potter into the formerly lost continent going into the formerly known attraction of poseidon's fury but I, I said to the lady, no, like we don't, like to me, I don't want more Harry Potter. We don't need any more of that. Just leave it where it's at. I think it'll be cool to put here at this attraction right here. I think it'll be cool to add a Legends of Zelda. Trust me, guys, leave it down in the comments below. Do you think we should get more Wizarding World of uh, Harry Potter or do you want it to be Legends of Zelda? Leave it down in the comments below. Here comes the train. Let's head on over to Universal Studios and let's close out the show. Finally, we have made it to the end of the video. At the same time, I have the sun here just beaming on me like crazy while I'm just trying to close out the show. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed all the updates that are going on between uh, Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. Hope you guys enjoyed that uh, quick food review over at the brand new Minions Cafe. It is a nice looking restaurant. The food over there is great. I recommend that pulled pork sandwich. It is very delicious. Uh, now for dessert wise, just don't, don't get that Ian Malcolm's uh, brownie. It's not the best one. I would recommend another dessert somewhere else that will satisfy you, that you will enjoy. <laughs> And uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy that uh, nice merch search uh, over at the brand new Evil Stuff store that's going on. That is next to the brand new attraction, VillainCon Minion Blast. Hopefully that ride should be opening up soon in summer of 2023. Opening summer. Yeah, when? Like to me, this is just crazy with Universal. Whenever they announce something, they just put a season of the year no official day which that's something i don't like all right guys well uh, that'll do it for this awesome uh installment of the eric's apparel show uh thank you guys for watching this video thank you for making this video as a part of your day if you're new to the channel and you're watching this awesome episode please hit that red subscribe button and please be sure to hit that notification bell for when you get notified a brand new episode of the eric's apparel show is up and running for your viewing pleasure and please select all notifications so you never miss another episode of the show with T-E-C-S, this is Eric Sapero saying, in case if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, 
and good night.